everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I thought I'd do another vlog because I have a lot of stuff to show you guys that I got. I uh, also have another HLJ box to show you. Uh, so we'll start with that. I'll go ahead and pop this open. Opening up the box, taking a look at what's inside. Lots of plastic wrap. Lots of plastic wrap as usual. Uh, so mo this box is mostly Ultraman Orb stuff because that just came out. I think third episode just aired. I've only seen the first two episodes so far because I watch it on Crunchyroll for free. Um, so it's always a week behind. I do think it's funny though for Crunchyroll, which is primarily anime and things of that nature. A lot of car commercials. I would think their target demographic would be like late teens, early 20-somethings. Probably not buying a lot of cards. Probably not buying a lot of Dodge pickup trucks anyway. I'm rambling. In any case, Ultraman Orb stuff is here. So let's take a look at what we've got. First up, we have an Ultraman vinyl doll. Woot. This is Ultraman... It just says Ultraman Orb on top. I'm not sure. This guy hasn't premiered in the episode for me so far sorry i just i have to re i have to acquaint myself with the names but i think the cool thing i think about ultraman orb is he'll take two different ultraman and fuse them together to make a new form and that's what he uses so this is mabius and i think taro fused together so i think that's pretty cool uh the next one is his normal form which is um i think tiga and the original ultraman fused together Here he is. And these will all get reviewed. They're just kind of showing you guys now. Uh, yeah, I have to go back and reacquaint myself. Uh, I got some more uh, vinyl dolls in here. This guy's really cool. I believe this is the large bird he fights in the first episode. So it looks like the legs can move. Can the wings move? It looks like they can. Maybe. I don't want to break it. The arms definitely can't. The head at the neck, maybe? No, I don't want to break it. It looks like just the legs. Yeah, I'm going to say it's just the legs. I don't know. The, the wings really do feel like they can move. Either way, very cool. And he comes with a card. Just like uh, Ultraman X Monsters did. The two uh, Ultraman vinyl dolls do not come with cards, just the monsters do. And this guy is from episode two. This guy's neck definitely moves, and his arms move. This guy's crazy. He's got crazy metal spikes out of his back. Really neat looking. The detail on the um, vinyl dolls is always very impressive. He comes with a card as well. All right, that is it for that. Then I bought the um, the standalone orange squid for Amiibo because I didn't really want the whole three pack with the, the boy and girl repaints. I just thought the squid looked really good. And in Japan, they sell the squid by himself. So picked him up. The rest of this stuff is kind of shrink wrapped together. So if you'll bear with me one second, I can show you everything. Juoja Bat, very excited to get him. Cube Komori, very cool. Reminds me um, of the bat from, and he, over here was Jungle Fury of Geki Ranger. Same kind of coloring and everything. Very cool, very excited to get to that. Then we have the card carrier for Ultraman Orb. He kind of wears this on his like belt or on the side of his leg and he kind of flips it open to store his card so he can access them quickly. Very cool. Then I also decided to get the um, the one Splatoon Amiibo display of the Kelp Dome. I just thought it looked really neat. And it was only like 8 bucks or something like that so decided to check that out. Not sure if I'm going to review that stuff or not. I might just open it up and post pictures. Then we have the first Ultraman Orb card set. Which will of course get reviewed as well. And then the big daddy for this box. Is the 
Ultraman Orb Ring, which is his henshin device. The DX Orb Ring. He'll pass the cards in here, two together, and then that's how he changes into Ultraman Orb. Very neat. So I've heard this thing is great. I'm excited to get this out of the packaging and play with it, and then of course review it for you guys. That's pretty much it for this box. A lot of packaging, plastic, and things of this nature. It's all over the place. Let's clean up a little bit here. Uh, but I have got a lot of other stuff recently. July is just a crazy month, and August is going to be even crazier, I think. I'll start with this. I decided to get this. Uh, it's the Light Effects Luke Skywalker for Disney Infinity. All Disney Infinity stuff is four ninety six a piece. All the individual figures are just under 5 bucks at Walmart. So I thought... Didn't pick this guy up yet. Might as well. Uh, another good deal. Lego Dimension Packs. On sale at 5 below for $5 a piece. So I got a few that I still didn't have. They had the Nia and Silver... This is Nia. And the Silver Ninja or Titanium Ninja. Whatever. Lloyd. The all silver colored ninja. Uh, they had those two packs from Ninjago. They had... Bad Cop and Benny from the Lego movie. They had all the Chima sets. And then they have um, Gimli from Lord of the Rings. I was really hoping that they had would have Legolas too, but they didn't. At least the two that I've been to seem to be the same, like five or six sets. So I'm hoping maybe one day they'll get Legolas. I think that's the last fun pack I need. Uh, also picked up Squid Sister Amiibo. Got this from Amazon, and for some reason it didn't apply the 20% off Prime discount, which it should because it is a video game accessory. I called customer service and they refunded me 5 bucks, which would be 20%. So, same thing happened to you. Try giving them a call. They should help you out. I hope it was just a one-time thing because it should definitely have applied. Um, what next to show you? Bunch of, it's kind of Lego clearance season right now. So I decided to grab this. I really enjoyed Force Awakens. Uh, this is normally 70 and Walmart had a clearance for 49 So it's 30% off. So I thought that was pretty good. 30% off is pretty much the lowest that Legos usually go most places before they get bought out. Sometimes they get down to 50%, but only if it sits around long enough. And Legos usually don't. So 30% is pretty good. Um... Lego clearance season, man. It gets me every time. I try to save money, and then it's Lego clearance season. It's always in July because the new sets come out in August, and a lot of stores will reset their mods. If you're looking for new toys at Target and you haven't found anything, it's probably because the mod reset, I don't believe, happens till this coming Sunday the 31st. Um, always sometime in July, they redo the entire toy section, probably other sections as well, um, but they redo the entire toy section, and that's what causes them to they don't put out new stuff because they just have to move it around so they wait till everything's reset and then they restock the shelves which i get it makes sense no sense putting out stuff just to move it around but it's frustrating when you're trying to toy hunt in july because it's just they don't put out new stuff they don't put out new stuff yet these randomly i found at target to contradict myself i found these today as a fluke uh the new power ranger legacy figures so i got um, the Yellow Ranger from Ninja Storm, Dustin. I got NMPR Red, which could be Jason or Rocky, depending on who you, you care for. Uh, and then this is the one I'm most excited about. Um, I've just always loved the design of, of the suit for this guy, the Green Ranger. I just think the emerald green with that gold shield just always looks really good. The shield kind of sticks out a little bit away from his body. It's, it's not that big a problem, but it just looks a little weird to me. But these will obviously get reviewed. I'm hoping to try to get one up later tonight or today, depending on time and how things allow. Um, the only other thing I have... Oh, the uh, new LEGO minifigure pack. Series 16 is out. Uh, I believe I have all 16. I kind of stood in the Walmart for half an hour feeling through the packs. Uh, also got this was on clearance for nine dollars. I never picked this one up. So decided to grab that uh, So a lot of Legos, which I know I don't really do a lot of Legos on my channel um, But I will do the minifigure packs because I think they're fun um, Power Ranger legacy figures definitely will try to get to them as soon as possible 
I still have um, Titan Returns Blaster, which I will get to soon. I also have Fortress Maximus, but I don't know if I'm going to review him, only because he's so massive. It's hard for me to do in my space, but uh, I'll, I'll try to get to it. There's I have so many things right now. I feel like every time I turn around, ten more things come out, and I'm trying to catch up. I think what I'm going to try to do is, if time allows, I'm going to try to do two videos a day just to get a little caught up. Um, now that I have all the Ultraman stuff, and I've got Power Rangers stuff, and Transformers I was finally kind of getting caught up on. I've got some other stuff, some World of Nintendo stuff and everything. So, going to try to do two videos a day to get a little caught up. Um, if you guys have a preference, if there's something you want to see, like, immediately, let me know in the comments below. I'd like your feedback, and I'm happy to do something ahead of something else. If I know there's a demand for it, I have no problem doing that. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you have any uh, preferences or suggestions or any requests, I should say. Um... But yeah, I hope you enjoyed me kind of showing you a haul of new stuff that I have. A little bit of a preview of some reviews coming down the pike. Uh, and my HLJ uh, box opening for Ultraman Orb, which I'm very excited about. The first two episodes so far have been a lot of fun. And we're enjoying that. So, uh, like I said, let me know in the comments below. Love to hear from you guys. And of course, thanks for watching.